Good morning, YouTube family. It's I, Jennifer Bloom Mystique. I am a master healer, ascension master, and a divine guide. I am the one who brought about the ascension for this planet. Um, you guys will have to forgive me um, because I'm trying to get back into a new flow and to really feel back into my channel. For those of you who are not aware, my twin flame, my DM died. Um, and that's been a long story. I no longer know who he is. Um, and the wand you see was David's. And so his energy is definitely a part of this today. He wanted to be. And each time he does that, it makes me feel really good. So I'm thankful for that. He's like, go grab my wand. And so I did. Um, and so I'm tuning in today for a good morning cup of divine flow. I have my coffee. Um, you know, my new energy and my new card deck. So I did get a new deck um, that I, that was called forth today. So I'm really happy. Um, it is the Urban Crow Oracle. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the energy is really good on it. It's a really interesting deck. I have not used it a lot. So I will have the book out just in case. I don't always need it. Um, but... Um, so that's going on so far. I'm going to see what spirit has to say, what's going on, what's going around, and kind of get back into the flow of my good morning cups of divine flow. Um, I really love doing these videos, and spirit lets us know what's coming, um, usually what's coming for my healings, for the earth, for the ascension, and also what's coming for us, and what is the proper focus we should be focusing on. And so far, I've done the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus chakra videos. Um, those are all relevant for this time, all three of them. You can even do them in a row. You can focus on one at a time. But either way, they're both very relevant. Um, so I have connected the divine, the twin flames at the root chakra and the sacral chakra. Okay. Um, so keep that in mind if you're allowing the energy to flow from both of those and you're a twin flame it is very relevant at this time um i do feel like i got attacked i was out of balance and i got attacked and i've been trying to recover from that it wasn't as severe as when we got attacked when my twin flame was around um, or was still david he's around but he's no longer david the guy i knew um, and I don't know him yet, and that's what Spirit is telling me. And so um, I'm just going to do my best to stay in balance, to stay open, to process what happened to David still, and to be here for all of you, okay? Now I'm gonna see kind of what's going on in the collective whole. I do have three decks here for today to see what the message is. I really haven't tuned in yet. I do know they wanted my Lumeria deck, and again, they're saying there's more than meets the eye. I keep saying that. That's been a theme, right? There's always more than meets the eye with spirit, no matter what. Hi, my angel baby. My pretty doggy. Hi, my love. You coming over to say hi? Yes, I love you so much. My dog is saying hi. I wish you could see her, but she's behind the camera. It's just my baby girls. Can you say I love you? Can you say I love you? Say good morning. I'm not gonna do it now because I'm on camera. Can you say good morning? <laughs> no, that's not good morning. That's a woof. Say good morning. Say I love you. Okay, well, I thought she would want to participate in this video. She's just staring at me. Just staring at me like, what's going down, Mom? What you want from me? All right. So we're going to kind of tune in and see what Spirit has to say, okay? Take your time and be cautious but not fearful. No, thank you. It's 530. I'm not taking you out right now. I'm going to go lay down. No, you can wait till I'm done. You're not going to interrupt me that way, okay? You can wait till I'm done. Um, be cautious, but do not be fearful. And that's what spirit is saying. And fearful is not a good place to be, right? Fearful is a negative space. It is part of the shadow self. It is part of a false entity. 
And it is what keeps us down in low vibration. So don't be fearful. Um, stay in like your safe bubble, right? Like your energy of love and light and joy and peace um, and balance and hope and all that kind of stuff, okay? And so this feels so good to be back into this video. I used to do these a lot and with the mishap on my journey with my twin flame, I kind of got out of the flow. And it, even though I miss him so much, so much from watching my videos, I still feel like he's always with me. And this time, it's a little different the way he's with me, right? So he's not surrounded by darkness. He's with me in spirit and his soul is actually walking around in somebody else, which I've had to process. I'm like, how in the hell would I want anybody but David? That was who I knew as my twin flame. That was my soulmate. And so it's a lot that I'm processing. Um, but I think I'm going to get back into doing these quite often. So I hope you guys are down for that. I hope you're going to enjoy the flow, the new flow on my channel. Again, I'll be doing Hertz music on Mondays now. It took me a couple days to upload the last one for some reason. Um, so just get used to that. And maybe hopefully you'll like the new flow that I come up with. Um, and then eventually I'll probably get into missing persons and unsolved cases again. Um, but that last one I was attacked on and so I'm just kind of giving space for healing and reconnecting to, to, to source in a higher vibration. Okay, right now the most important thing for the whole collective to do is to, um, sorry about the airplane in the background, stay in balance, stay in balance in every which way you can. Now balance is tricky. <clears throat> balance in 7D is not the same as balance in 3D. Balance is very tricky, okay? And it's so easy to get out of balance, way easier than we think it is. So when you think about spirituality, there's a balance. When you think about um, practicality, there's a balance. Masculine and feminine, there's a balance. Work and play, there's a balance. There's a balance in every aspect of who you are and everything that you do. And so you've got to kind of do like a reassessment all the time of where am I out of balance? Where am I neglecting self? Where am I not where I should be? Okay. And so like, it's almost like tread lightly, focus on the spiritual movements, the repetition, which in spirit within spiritual flow, focus on the repetition within spiritual flow. There's always more than meets the eye going on. And so it's super important to trust this. This is what's coming out. Trust this, trust that there is a big, huge movement within the divine. Okay, there is. Have you noticed all the earthquakes and things lately? That's not coincidental. If you watch the works, workshops that I do and all the things that I do, the last one that I did, um, we took a lot of Christ light into the core of the earth and it was going to be expanding at this time. Um, and I know Mount Rainier was venting after that one. Now I also know I did a healing on Mount Rainier. So what it does is, is beyond me. Um, but it will continue to expand. Um, that is what's happening to the earth. It's spinning faster. It's in a new galaxy. All of this is scientifically proven, but it's also proven in my workshops. <laughs> so if you actually watch the work that I do, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, who is this lady? Right? Um, so just, just, it's like treading lightly, meaning paying attention to the energy that is within you and around you. And if for some reason you cannot, I would reassess your balance, okay? And then trust that what is for you will come for you. What is meant for you will always stay. Um, and then when I'm hearing genuine connections are hard to find, they're always just on the other side, right? It's like, we're always looking, we're always looking, we're always looking. And then we were, we're like, why isn't it coming? What you're looking for, sometimes you do not find. The moment you stop looking is when it comes the way, in the way. So when you are focusing on the energy around you, the here and the now, being in joy, being creative, being productive, doing what brings you passion, 
that is when miracles come your way. That's sometimes why spirit is so big about balance. This one flipped in the deck as I was doing it. So we've got third eye chakra here, okay? Third eye chakra is truly about being in tuned. It's not just seeing, but it's being able to, to understand the world around you better, right? With our third eye chakra, we can tune into spiritual force. We can see things clearly. We can understand things more clearly. So keep that in mind. And I'm having my good morning cup of coffee <laughs> with you all. Um, hi, Angel. I see you. Sugar. Sugar. Do, 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 do. She came and sat right by me. She is my baby girl. Yes, I love you so much. You gonna say something now for everybody to hear you? Hmm? Can you say I love you now? Can you? Can you say I love you now? No, you have to wait until I'm done. Angel, it's 5.30 in the morning. You never do this. You're just doing this because I'm talking to you and on a video. So you can wait until I'm done. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. All right, let's see what Lumiria has to say. Let's see what else is coming our way. Yep, there's big movement inbound. There's big unrest. So I noticed also one of the weather people was like, do you think this is a weather warfare or part of the great reset? It is absolutely, unequivocally, undoubtedly a part of the great reset, okay? If you watch the videos I do, the shadow work workshop, the twin flame ones, the bringing down the Christ light ones, all of them talks about the energy that I've brought into the planet, the expansion of the planet. I have done so many things, you guys. So, but what I'm hearing is the collective whole is almost like trying to put their own veil over their eyes. Like they don't want to see what's real um, because it's like, I have to feel uncomfortable getting out of my comfort zone. I have to accept that maybe the, the way I once did things, I can't do them anymore. Or the way I once saw things, I cannot see them that way anymore. And it is like a big awakening time. And it, we are inching towards the Great Reset, which is on its way. That's what they're saying. So they're asking me literally to just sit tight. It's like sit tight, trust your energy, raise your vibration. And my twin flame will soon be on his way. And that's what they're saying. And I do not know him yet. And that's also what they're telling me. Um, but as far as the collective whole, it's like I want to put this veil over my eyes. I don't want to see what's real. And maybe because what's real can seem scary. Maybe because what's real is like truth to our soul, right? And we don't always like those. We get into a place of judgment. Judgment for self and fear of judgment from others. But no matter who you are on this planet, if you don't start doing things differently for you, it can be detrimental, right? And so if you're getting nudged to do things differently, if you're starting to see things differently, maybe you should listen to those nudges, right? Because it is going to determine what happens to you and where you go and where you belong within the structure of the new earth. So the new earth will not be called earth anymore. And the, you remember if I split the planets into two, and so the old, what you want to call Earth, is also not going to be Earth, it's going to be barren of light. And the new planet is like Atlantis 2.0, I took us into 7D. All right, and so we are in unfamiliar territory energetically on the collective whole, physically on the collective whole, and within the Earth. The Earth has never ascended like this before. Other planets have, we've done it before. And they've survived um, but it's empirical it's crucial to use our energy and help the earth to listen to the earth and to tread lightly right and that's that trust that's that trust trust that we don't know what's going on always we don't always know when something's coming and where it's coming from or how or why and it's not for us to focus on that aspect it is more for us to focus on, am I feeling good at this time? And what can I do to make sure I feel good at this time? What can I do to make sure that I am 
being the best version of myself that I can be in this moment in time. So if I have healing to do, I need to do it. If I have things I need to look at, I need to be willing to look at those and to be look at the, looking at them wholeheartedly. If I have things I need to adjust within my reality, then that, sorry, my dog is moving my thing. That is what I need to do at this time. Hey, yo, Angel, do you mind? I don't know what your deal is, home slice, but you know, you're like taking us out here. <laughs> Let me try to adjust the light too. It's like five o'clock in the morning here. Okay, you guys see the cards? I don't know, sorry about that. Hopefully you can, hopefully you can. Um, and that is kind of the tricky part of what's going on right now. According to spirit, the collective whole is trying to put a blinder on their mind's eye. They don't want to see the truths on a large part. And we're doing this on an individual level and a collective level. And they don't, I mean, they know why, but if we do that, it can be quite painful. And it's going to delay um, some of the things that are inevitable, right? And so sometimes it's best to just kind of accept, radical acceptance is what I'm hearing. Okay, now I'm going to pull the myriad cards and see what they have to say. And they're telling me to listen to the music a little more carefully. That is in my head with my new twin flame connection. And if I can put my focus there, we will strengthen that connection again. So I'm really happy about that. Yep. Okay. And so this is exactly what I've been talking about. Freedom, right? I think with great freedom comes sometimes great sacrifice. Like, you mean I have to let go all of these nuances that were my routine and my comfort zone? I have to feel uncomfortable in order to feel comfortable. And that came out on my message, I think, yesterday on Facebook. It's like we have to feel a little uncomfortable before we can get to a space of true comfortability. 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 Um, and so it's all about gracious receptivity, right? Like maybe I don't understand what I'm seeing. Maybe I don't understand what's, and this is also make more than what meets the eye. Um, being in gracious receptivity. This is truly about tuning into your energy, raising the frequency and realizing there's so many layers in the universe to tune into and get answers from, okay? And the stronger you are, the more willing you are to do that, the more willing you are to let things go, that is where pure enlightenment comes from. But everybody's so quick to be in their head, so quick to move, and so quick to prove a point. And that's what Spirit is saying too. It's like, why are we so quick to prove a point? Let the universe prove things for you. But everybody wants instant gratification, and the work, the universe doesn't work that way. And I've talked about this many times before. The universe works in a way of subtle energetic flow. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, that should hit you, right? Like that is like totally the way it is. <laughs> there is no way around that. Um, and that's kind of the way the universe works, all right? And my twin flame was the energy of him right now is like, yep. Um, you know, he would think certain ways he would hold off and then because because in one day the energy may not be pushing hard right in one day you may not have what they say is coming but then all of a sudden the moment you're not thinking about it the moment you're least expecting it that's when it's like wham that's how spiritual flow works that's how the universe works it's tuning in to the aspects of self that connect with those layers of energetic flow i hope that makes sense so now I have my new card deck, my new crow deck, Urban Crow Oracle Guidebook. All right, so this is exactly what I said um, in the beginning. Remember, I talked about fear Fear is not of the light. Fear is a tool to keep people small. Fear is what they used against you for the V, right? 
Um, fear is what they use against the collective whole all the time. Fear is what the darkness loves to use against because it lowers your vibration. It makes you do things you may not normally do, right? Um, but when we step outside of fear, we're willing to take chances. We're willing to see things the way they truly are. And so fear is a really big part right now of the collective whole. Um, it's almost like people know this is um, what they're calling the Great Reset, which is also the apocalypse, which is also the end of time, which is also, well, the end of ways. Um, and so when you put all of those terms together, there, it can create a fear. It's also Judgment Day, which is not exactly what people think, right? Um, and so there is a fear amongst the collective whole. And you see that scare card's like, I'm here to scare you off. I'm here to make you do things you wouldn't normally do. That's what the darkness would use against people. So if you don't do this, I'm going to kill you, right? I'm going to do this. And that's kind of what's happening to my DM too. He was being attacked more than you guys would ever know. And so he wasn't just afraid of me. He was absolutely struggling and he didn't feel like he was worthy. That's what I always hear when I do these messages. But that's based in what? fear my friends fear is a detriment to everything it is what is going on there is fear and freedom there is fear in letting things go because the structure was so strong and it was so integral and controlling in the in our whole world like in our whole it's what we always knew as people here and so this true freedom that is coming in gracious receptivity and trusting in the time and the now and letting that what they call the matrix go is one hell of a fear. And the collective right now is trying to hold on to that veil slightly ever so, okay? So that's what's going on there. Then we have anomaly, anomaly. This card is really pretty. I like this card, that is a white crow. And I'm gonna look up that one, but then we also have release, okay? It's time to release <clears throat> that great control. It is time to release what no longer serves you so that you can be whole, okay? It is absolutely time to release. It's a deep layer of that matrix right now that we are releasing. And this card is interesting to me because if you watched my shadow workshop, I went into the earth and released major darkness that was all around. And that's kind of, it's all about the collective shadow right now also that the um, collective doesn't want to let go of, okay? And so this anomaly, this white crow, um, I haven't looked it up yet, I just grabbed my book. But it, the card alone is talking about balance. It's talking about standing out in the crowd and being okay with that, basically. Um, so this one's interesting to me. It's talking about something standing out, right? Something is going to appear and it will be hard not to notice or avoid it. It is strikingly clear that what you encounter will be abnormally good or perhaps abnormally bad. Either way, it will stand out in some way, right? Anomaly may appear if you are contemplating an event within a relationship. You may find yourself questioning if someone's behavior, good or bad, serves as an indication of who they truly are which it does not. Remember my DM, my twin flame David, he was really struggling and everybody was like, oh, he's bad. He wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, granted in the end he had a black, a little bit of a black heart, but he was my other half. He was a good soul. He was struggling. And so you got to be careful with those indications or somebody's behavior in one moment it does not depict the reality of their true soul, right? So this crow may appear white, but maybe he's just the same as the guy next to him. Like you never know. Um, So, if the situation was a rare event and out of character, 
Sometimes we just need to have one small encounter, an outlier. So really what this talks about is there is something different coming, right? There is an event that's coming and it can be good or bad. Um, it's all con kind of construed on how you take it, right? But it's there to cause you to have a different perspective. It's there to cause you to have um, kind of a wake up call, right? It's almost like a wake up call. Um, you know, maybe I'm looking at the surface, but again, there's more than meets the eye. Or, oh, this crow is white, he's not black, let's get racist here, right? Um, and so, take a step back and feel into the energies rather than what is on the surface, okay? It's very important, and don't be in fear. Trust the process, release what no longer serves you, be in gracious receptivity, right? Tune in to all of the energies that are you, not just what is meeting our eye. Again, this is coming out a lot here. Freedom is all around you if you choose to let things go. That's what it's about, right? Releasing what no longer serves you to have the freedom you so desire. And fear, my friends, is a detriment to the collective soul, okay? But the whole collective whole has a little bit of fear they're hanging on to right now. And they're almost afraid of that freedom that is on its way for them. So let's just imagine the whole matrix falls out. There's nobody controlling your water, nobody controlling your electric, nobody controlling what you do, where you go, how you do it, how long you have to do it, or who the hell you have to work for, or the fact that you have to pay taxes. Like all of this is not in freedom. It's all in control. And we, as a human species, have a really hard time letting go of that control and being in true freedom. And they can feel it in the weather, they can feel it in the earth, they can feel it within their soul. And spirit is saying that that anomaly, right? That thing that may be very vastly different, good or bad, is causing a spark within the collective fear. So don't be afraid, my friends. Stay in trust. Allow these things to come to give you a different perspective Maybe it's not always what it seems. Release what does not serve you so that you can have the freedom of your soul. So much love to all of you. Thank you, David, for your energy today. And I will see you guys again very soon. You are right where you're supposed to be. Never forget that. Do your research. There may be great things here for you rather than just this video. If you check out my channel in the Ascension playlist, it's gonna help you ascend, okay? And you're gonna see for the real who I am and who my DM was and maybe is now, I don't know. So much love to all of you. Until next time, you're right where you're supposed to be. Hasta la vista, baby.